How's it going, folks? Hope you're all doing very well. Today, we are going to be telling you exactly what you need to do to defend better on FT24. If you struggle to deal with crosses, players inside the 18-yard box, players on the edge of the box, moving the ball over the top through balls, whatever it may be, this defensive video is going to cover everything for you. Let's go ahead and jump into it. If you enjoy, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. What concerns me straight away here which we'll see if this is a reoccurring theme uh for melee start with 541 you've got to change it so you messed up okay um it's just a lack of any sort of pressure here any sort of second man press any sort of anything really so as soon as like you get out here you go and put the manual pressure on and you b lunge and that's fine but then after this point it's like okay you're now allowing him to drive so look at the space that he can go into an attack really the opponent doesn't probably punish this as much as he should he sends the right back on the overlapping run which is good but this here is not good so what could you do in this sort of area I'll, I'll ask you chat when we're out here now what do you think we should be doing when you take a look at this is there anything specific that you think okay this is what melee could do and i'm talking more so about pressure really can you explain this giveaway? Uh, essentially, we're just doing some free coaching on streams now for the next few weeks. Um, so if you're in the stream regularly, we do it as a random giveaway. And you can either upload a game to YouTube or Twitch like we have here, or you can do a share play live on PS5. And then we probably will start to invite people onto Discord to have conversations with it. Do -do. Bring the CM uh, over to press, covering both options with a center back. Close the gap, I guess. Swap to CDM and use second man press. Drag player back to pressure. Drag a CM and defense second man press. Yeah, all very good kind of suggestions. The basic what we want to try and do here is to bring this sort of player in and get them involved kind of defensively. There isn't any sort of pressure there. The centre backs are in a good line and there's not any immediate kind of threat in behind. Neither one of these players are making like a run for him to play that ball over the top. Which if they were you would have to manually switch and then obviously, you know, cover the over top through balls. So a feature which I don't think enough people use in this sort of area is where you double tap and hold R1, RB on Xbox. So if you double tap and hold R1, RB, you will get the partial team press where it will select two players to pressure their runners, essentially. Now, you don't get to know who it's going to press. You'll see two little blue icons. And what I would say from my experience in using it here, what it will do is it will grab this player to go and man mark Mbappe and this player to man mark whoever this is. I don't know who this is here at number 10. Why is that good? Well, because we're then pulling that player back into there and we're covering that run should it go. Now, what it might do is also as well, because it can be a little bit funny, it might grab this player to go and like press that. But the idea is, is it will grab two players to pressure their runners. What it then means is that you can carry on this manual press here, obviously with uh, the left back, because you're kind of covering this lane to make it difficult. And your other option that you could do is you could second man press, switch into this player. So you second man press there, and then you manually pull that player back. The reason why I would prefer the partial team press here is that we can cover kind of more with less, essentially. All right. Uh, Shell, how are you, my friend? Thank you. Thank you so much for four months at tier one. That's very kind of you. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for the love and the support. But it's just about reducing this gap here and putting numbers into that position if we can. So this is good but then trying to attack this gap here this is to me what i would class as like some of the biggest bait on ft24 where you think you can like harry Maguire step up and drive into the gap you can't do it man you just can't do it if you want to drive into here that's not necessarily a problem you have to control to sprint it you are not allowed to sprint into here because all it does is just say do you want to come and press me if you were controlled sprinting now you might be able to then just slip that ball out. You've pulled Zico out of position. You've then got a two-on-one out on the right back, which then means the right centre back might have to come over or Kimmich would have to come over. Like, you would be in a great position. But just driving into the middle by holding sprint is just criminal. You are, you are not allowed to do that. Now, <laughs> it already you can already see where, like, problems are going to start to happen for yourself. You take this touch with sprint and then it's like a snowball effect. You know, when we put a snowball top a mountain, we roll it down and the snowball gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. When you make one mistake, you are then more likely to make a second mistake, a third mistake and so on. You can't ball roll though, Biscuit, because he's already like, he's took that touch with sprint. So even if he tries to ball roll here, he gets caught, like he gets tackled. The sprinting is just not allowed. We're going back to the snowball. You've made one mistake. You've lost the ball. Your left center back is now out of position. And watch how you immediately switch into Blanc and what do you do? Boom. You go and put pressure on him straight away. Not realizing 
I've got a player out of position. My whole team was getting ready to move forward and attack. Now we should be on defense, defense, defense. It should be a more passive sort of play here. So what could you do? You could second man press with RB, R1. That will grab this player. Second man press will always grab the player that is goal side and closest to the ball. Goal side closest to the ball is this player right here at the top of the screen. Then you can get ready to cover, obviously, any runners. Like, I think this player here will go ahead and make that run, as you can see. But then you switch forward. If you realize at this point I've made a mistake, you have to right six switch into the list, list left back. You just stick with it. You just stay with it the whole time. And then by that point, it's too late. And it's Alawarian, lays that ball to Mbappe, and you should be 1-0 down. Like, crazy, you know? So when you make one mistake, don't then go, I need to rectify that mistake. Go, 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 go. Almost have a... A second, two seconds, a more passive. Have a look, see what's going on, and then kind of go from there, you know? Uh, that's one of my pitfalls this year. I'm aggressive. It's one of mine as well, because I think players can be too, like, eager to want to win and want to get the game almost done with. That it's like, give me the ball, give me the ball, give me the ball. But it just leads to, like, bigger issues. Chris, thank you for uh, 36 months. Uh, 48 months, sorry. And, yeah, enjoy the one super stream, mate. Hope you're doing well, sir. So you draw in the foul here, which is nice, but something else we can do to make this so much easier for us you see how your right winger if you look at the bottom of the screen your right winger here isn't helping you right they're not doing anything if you when you've got this ball with james you haven't got your controller on so we don't know for sure but you can from like the dribbling you are pointing your left stick into this direction that means you're aiming at your right winger just tap r1 tap rb what does that do that tells the right winger come short so then you don't find yourself in as big of a diff uh, in trouble here because what you could then just do is as that right winger just loses their left back slightly, they come into there, you can then just lay that little ball out to them. Instead, you don't give yourself an option. You see how they just stay player for player and you get very lucky that Courtois gives away the foul. Um, Pyro, thank you. Thank you so much for five months of your prime, mate. I appreciate you. I hope you're doing well. And good afternoon to you today. Hope you're doing good. Talk to me about the defending here, Maley. What was going through your mind? Again, it's, it's just a random step up B lunge. Like, I don't think you're thinking about here. How does the opponent want to get in behind? How does the opponent want to score, right? Your defense right now is on the halfway line. And as soon as he lays that ball into Alawarian, and you're in a five at the back right now, um, you just instantly go. Like... I don't know. I, I don't know what the, the thought process is here. I think you could even... We rewind one more. I'm doing well, thank you, Lewis. Uh, life's been good, bro. How about you? How are you? I wanted to high press my centre-back because I had a spare centre-back. But why don't you stay here with Sawa? Second man press and Petit will do the job for you. You can press back into this angle because obviously he's got, you know, Mbappe to look for the one-two in. And then you're killing those two birds with one stones. This is, like, fine if you're reacting to where he's going to go. Like, why would... He's either going to take the touch up there to sprint in behind or he's going to play to his numbers. And his numbers here with Mbappe. So, you make him a gamble that he's going to take the touch up into there when that doesn't really make as much sense because he wants to play, obviously, where his numbers are. So, you step up. You then just random ass B lunge and then you go. And then it's like, okay, the step over comes through. He then gets through. This now is a scary scenario. But here... You are in the perfect scenario to tackle the player. R, B, B, R, 1, circle for a strong power tackle and take the ball. The ball's there, man. But you just don't commit. And now you're jockeying and trying to maybe just think that you might intercept the ball or something. And Alawarian, what's his game plan? It's go. It's, he's just going to run. So you have two options. Commit to your tackle here and actually press tackle. Or you just need to start beelining back towards goal and holding sprint. Because you just you're caught in like no man's land really yeah you had to expect alawari in there so as soon as he plays this ball back into the middle what he's looking to do is to catch you in this transition right this is the transition where if you break this half into two halves one two 
he has got so many numbers here in the two where now is the space going to come it's as your players are running back up to look for that first time pass or one touch pass to go direct into the 18 yard box people will go up there or they'll actually go for the reverse ball back in there as your team is moving but when this lays into Kimmich you need to be more careful of the passing to Alawarian than trying to press Kimmich how could you do this switching into the defender second man pressing holding r1 for you to press the ball holder with the ai and then for you to automatically be on that ball uh with petit or blanc you know you just step like the the idea is right to pressure Kimmich, but you can do it with the ai with second man press rather than manually you need to be more worried about that there with Alawarian than you going yourself. Now, if Kimmich was like here and you were a little bit more to get into the lane, then you could probably get away with it. Make sense? Good pressure. I think you really need to utilize second one press so much more. So like the pressure here is good when, when it comes out to this left hand side. That initial run is fine. Now, switch to James, second man press with Soa. You're still putting pressure on Cole and you're getting ready to be hot on the heel. So when Courtois receives this here, you're there ready to step in and try and make it difficult. I feel like the opponent's having so much ease to actually like move into a final third and transition well because every player's got two yards free because there's just lack of pressure, you know? Definitely trying to think about how you can use second man press a little bit more. You know, you manually go, then you switch, second man press, and then you can manually switch back to get that quick tackle in. Uh, hello, Don. How are you, mate? Nice to see you, bro. I appreciate you, bud. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing good. What's an easy way to get the rotation of the right stick correct to a step over? I feel I mess it up when the sides change from one half to another. Well, you can push the right stick. It's essentially, uh, hey, man, do a step over. I'm facing this way, right? So you want to push your right stick the way that you are facing, then 90 degrees to the right or to the left. And then you left stick the way that you want to exit. So as they do the step over, you then push your left stick and then you sprint as you push the left stick. And that's how you get it. Now, if I'm facing on that way, you know, so instead of being, so say if we're running uh, the, up this way now, when we wanted to do a step over, you're facing, if you uh, draw a clock, so nine o'clock, 12 if we're facing there we need to push our right stick to that 10 o'clock then we rotate it the 90 degrees there and then we push our left stick the way that we want to exit so it's just getting those angles right on there comrade so again here you switch to the right back and then you go oh, i need to cover that one too what can we do here, Maley? What can we do here? We can carry on running to cover the Courtois. You can second man press, so you get that press here. Or you could partial team press. And that player will grab... Uh, partial team press probably wouldn't be as good, actually. I'll take that back because they cover their players that are running rather than manually pressure the ball. So the second man press actually will be better. Um, if you wanted to do what you're doing here, you could left uh, switch into this player, manually press, and then double tap the R1 to get that partial team press. But I like the original idea of trap this run, hold R1, second man press. Then when you feel James has got that head start on that run, then you can tap L1, change into this, and commit and be strong with that tackle. But you end up just switching into this, and you just lunge. You know? Mm -hmm. I did an icon last night. My choices were Van der Sar or Casillas or Nedved. I went Casillas, the right choice. Yeah, Casillas is good. I'll probably go Van der Sar myself. Um, but yeah, Casillas is still good. So, do you know what's actually funny? Like here, I don't think this was in implemented right because I don't think you want to even allow this ball to get in here. Um, but you do some second man press. You put the pressure on, you second man press, and then you actually like clamp him out from that. You make his, his chances difficult. The thing to think about here is that you think he's going to go down wide here with Komen, right? Always try and cover what is the most dangerous area on the pitch. And what is the most dangerous area on the pitch? Is there anything more centrally, right? Yes, obviously, if we think about people's play styles and how they want to play, if someone's got, like I have, Soloff, Drogba, Xerxes in my team, 
Well, the more dangerous area is actually me out on the wing because although, yes, Drogba can do well here, he's not got the ability to beat his man with skill moves as easy. You know, he's not Mbappe, basically. So that would be more dangerous if you're playing me. Right now, though, Courtois is the one receiving this ball. So him laying that ball out wide wouldn't make as much sense because he's not going to take the touch and whip it to Alawarian or Mbappe. Where he will have the absolute freedom to play is by taking a touch here, laying it into Mbappe, looking for a reverse elastico, a shot cancel, uh, a, speed, a step over, a uh, hill to ball roll, whatever it may be. So you need to actually bank more on this touch on the inside. And if he does turn that way and plays that, that's fine. You've got Reese James there to deal with that. But you think he's going to go down. So he then takes that touch backwards, lays it into Mbappe, and then obviously gets into a good position. But well done for that second one press. If you did enjoy this video, please do let me know down below in the comments. And you can also catch up with our educational FC24 series by clicking this box right here.